Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to what's going to be our Halo Infinite playthrough. Let's see, we left off after uh, clearing out, I believe it was called the Ransom Camp or something like that. It was where they were taken apart and rebuilding UNSC Tech for their mining operations. And I was in the middle of looking for the audio logs. Oh. Interesting. So, hold up. So yeah, the ransom keep. So I still need to find the UNSC uh, audio logs there though. So before we uh, move on to the next area, I'm going to try and see if I can find those. Uh, so, uh, as you know, I will be trying to not talk during the cutscenes and or important dialogue, so that way we don't miss anything. And I will be trying to just talk more during the downtime. So, I guess the first uh, question would be, how's everyone doing today? I don't even know if I have anyone in chat yet to answer that question, but I'll ask it anyways. Somewhere in here... Are some, are some audio logs, and we are going to find them, hopefully. I want to spend a... a big hole in two hours looking for... some audio logs and then not find them in a two hour time period. If that occurs, I will be, uh, oh, the grenade, no, the grenade did the job well, you know, what I just wanted to do was melee. Find some audio logs, that would be pretty, pretty great. I'm not sure what it is I'm missing or if I'm even missing something, but I get the feeling I am. Like I'm I'm overlooking them, I feel like. Maybe they're on the roofs? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh. I guess, is this part of Ransom? Well, I found one of them. into this warthog. Get this message to my son, Andrew Valeros. He lives on New Carthage. Andy, I know that I told you I would come home, but I can't keep that promise. 
and that hurts more than you'll ever know. No matter what, know that oh. I love you. I guess it makes sense that the audio logs wouldn't be in the base itself. Find so that's on me. Tell him I died saving others. Tell him to never lose hope. some marines who had observed the banished collecting and salvaging UNSC hardware to nearby outposts. First I've heard of them doing that, but if the banished really are as stranded on this ring as we are, they might be running low on raw materials and recycling UNSC scrap to make ends meet. Obviously they're not going to build a fully operational wraith from a warthog chassis, but our equipment could still be plenty useful if they get creative. Let's see that they don't. It seems like that second audio log was a group of marines with a similar idea of the chief of stopping them from using those uh, materials, which to be fair, uh, I'm pretty sure any UNSC personnel would. And, oh, that is a rocket launcher. I'm surprised he didn't shoot it. But I'm not going to argue with that, you know. If he decided he didn't want to shoot me with a rocket launcher. Thank you for the follow, Uchiha C. coming from that communication tower. Hello, how are you doing today? Thank you for stopping by the stream. Heads up, Chief. Another fob platform. Let's make it ours. Okay, this is uh shortly after getting access to the free roam itself. Have you played? Oh, you're just strolling through VTuber streams right now? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Do you usually play uh, shooters or anything? And if so, what would you say is some of your favorite shooters? You don't really like them? You don't have a PC, so you can't really play them. Okay. What type of games do you usually play? Genshin and League of Legends. Uh, I used to play League of Legends. I uh, had a group of friends who had played in the past, but I... Uh, we just kind of fell out of it, you know? Let's see. I would never say I was good at League of Legends. Uh, it was just something I, we would play together and we'd all have fun kind of giving each other a hard time about it. Base. 
Another fob in UNSC. What would you control. say is your uh, go to yeah, team on Genshin? That Banish Tower. The closer we get to it, the stronger the UNSC distress signal becomes. The source has to be inside. Uh, you're Yumi main. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Yumi was the cat, right? That you could attach to other uh, champions. Or am I thinking of something else? Because I know there's a champion like that, and there was something one of my friends liked to play, even though everyone would get uh, annoyed with him for playing it, because he'd play that, attach himself to uh, whoever he was laning with, and then he'd go get food or something. <laughs> So you'd be playing with one hand, eating with the other. Okay. Yes, the cat everyone hates. <laughs> Not alright. See, I never really played Yumi, so... I don't really know the uh, the proper way to play them or anything like that. Good to have you back, Chief. Where'd the marine come from? Because I know they're a support champ, uh, but can't they like heal, add like uh, increase damage and stuff? Propaganda Tower. In customs for one particular reason? Okay, so yeah, I just have to shoot to destroy those. <laughs> you were a, a support carry, Yumi? See, my friends didn't really do much of uh, customs, so... We, they usually be like, hey guys, let's hop into rank. And I was someone who hadn't played in a long time, and I was just like, oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> and it always did. <laughs> so yeah, rank is horrible. Uh, I had friends who would live in rank, and then I have friends who uh, never touched it. Non rank. Fun in my opinion. Rank, not so much. Rank is uh, where you go when you don't want to have fun. <laughs> got into League because of those friends? Yeah. See, I, uh... Say, it's... It's always either quiet or you hear someone complaining. That's how it was in mine. There's always at least one or two arguments going on between, uh, who should get ganked and, uh, stealing, uh, creeping minions. And I just sit there quietly, uh, because I, <laughs> I didn't have anything to add to those conversations. It was just uh, pure uh, mayhem at times in those voice calls. Say, like the whole thing with farming minions, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's still the same, but it was like, uh, you don't want to actually hit the minions until they're like one hit away from death. Then you want to just tap them. You don't want to sit there and just keep beating on them. I'm not sure if that's still the same or not, but uh, at least that's how it was the last time I played. And it's it's been a while since I played. 
I've always had a sort of off and on relationship with League because I played uh, year one League and then I stopped for a long time. <laughs> Last hit. Since you were playing a uh, support Yumi a lot. UNSC yeah, League can be fun, but you have to have like a certain no like particular trouble. group of friends to Let's make it fun. Heroes. Like they they have to be able to joke around and not take it too seriously, but at the same time want to win. It's like I'm a really weird reinforcements coming our way. I like how they have grunts on the propaganda radios just being annoying. <laughs> like they're not trying to convince you to... Say, I remember there was a lot of fun times in League. Uh, I remember uh, one time uh, me and my one of my friends, we would both, we decided to both play support uh, champions and go bot lane together. And the whole time we were just healing each other. So, uh, bot lane had no progress made. They fought well, don't yeah. you think? As soon as you approach rank, the fun's over. We're right behind you. Okay, I got Valor and I got a frag grenade. <laughs> yeah, we we were uh, that type. And it was because of that uh, one match, we weren't allowed to uh, lane bot lane together again because we both chose supports and were just healing the entire time. Uh, the enemy team, they, they got pretty upset with us at times <laughs> during that match. It was a, uh, it was a good night. That match lasted uh, much longer than it should have though because of it. <laughs> It'd be like, uh, as soon as the enemy thought they were going to kill one of us, we would just pop our uh, ability to heal or pop an ability to make the other one invincible. Pretty fun, but uh, yeah, our, our uh, ranked friends weren't having as much fun as we were that match because <laughs> they were keep looking at the map and go, "Why is bot lane basically not made any progress either way?" And they just move their camera down, see what we were doing, and they'd be like, "Why are you two doing this? We're trying to win," <laughs> and we would just laugh and say, well, we're trying to have fun. And we were having fun, I'd say. So I've noticed a lot of uh, VTubers have been getting into League of Legends. I know Vienna was sort of always the... I, I was, yeah, she's sort of always the League of Legends VTuber because she was the uh, professional. But I feel like it really blew up once uh, Niji Sanji EN uh, did their... League of Legends video, and now everyone's playing League of Legends. Oh. Gun. I know uh, there's been a few times I've thought about getting back into League of Legends, but... Yeah, so it's, it's a love or hate relationship. I love and hate. Because there's times where you have an absolute blast with friends, and then uh, you, you hop in the next day with those same friends, and then suddenly everything's gone horribly wrong, and no one's having a great time anymore. think you're safer here? Pick up the wounded. The infinity's lost. We are not. You will learn not to stand against me. Oh. To 
say TFT was actually the last thing I was playing on uh, League of Legends. I would just buy myself hop into TFT and uh, put on a video or some audio in the background and just relax while my more com competitive friends would uh, play uh, actual like competitive I don't know, I'm not much of a fan, or I would say I'm not a fan of armor, it just feels weird to me, because you'll have those people that go in knowing that it's a random champion, and then you'll get, like, say they'll get someone they don't know, or they don't know how to play, and then they'll just leave the match, and then you have to go through the uh, match-finding process all over again. So, I guess, yeah, uh, Armor could be fun, but maybe I just I've just had poor luck in finding the matches for it. I love the battle rifle. It's probably my favorite uh, Halo gun. I guess Tower was a more than appropriate name. Look at that place. The signal's coming from within that main structure. Somewhere up top. We're gonna need to find a way in. Say, it, it's probably a good way to come down from uh, the annoyance of regular matches is because armor is not taken as seriously and that's a good thing in my opinion so i feel like that's uh, sort of the main uh, purpose of arma as well as tft is just uh to come down from the the tilt get rid of some of that salt <laughs> lol made you aggressive <laughs> No, I can see that, though. I mean, some people are uh, completely calm and stuff, and then they play League of Legends, and then, like, everything that they've built up or had built up over the years just uh, comes out. This game, now I gotta deal with all this crap. Like, just, like that's the mindset I feel like is uh, what people get upset about. I'll say this I love the change they made to energy weapons. Uh, you can now, instead of just dropping. Oh, having issues with your Wi Fi? No problem. It's late where you are right now. We were uh, talking about uh, how League makes people uh, annoyed and more aggressive. Like, even if they're not a competitive person. Oh, it's almost 10 p.m. where you are. It's uh, the afternoon for me over here. It's like uh, 12.30 over here.
But yeah, I, I get what you mean. You miss lol, but you don't miss lol because uh, it's it's something you think about playing. Yeah, no problem. I'm with you, Chief. back but yes i get what you mean about uh league of legends because you want to play it with friends but you don't want to play it <laughs> still giving you issues over there It's fun, but it has to be a certain type. Say, playing alone is absolutely terrible. See, I feel like playing alone was more fun when they had the uh, 3v3s and they got rid of that. Now you have to play 5v5 and sometimes you just don't have time for a 5v5 game. I missed the twist, uh, twisted tree line. I think that's what it is. Oh, playing armor alone, alone is fun. Yeah, I guess so, because there's no... Uh, Yeah, it's true. It's very much a, a team game. It doesn't matter how good a single person is. So, the demon is here. Did you think I would let you walk right into my tower? My tower? I think not. My facility is locked down. There is nothing you can do here. Except to die. Yeah, Yumi support is it's good support, can't carry the game. He seems confident. I feel like that's the is how it is with any support character. It doesn't matter how good you are at it if uh, the people you're trying to support isn't a aren't able to help you. Let's have an aggressive combo. Yeah. Ooh. I think I just got headshot. I think he either shot the fusion coil in my hand or he just headshot me there. I'm not sure which. Yeah, if you main a support, you have to have a, a high damage person with you, so you can actually kill things.
You thought Halo was a uh, Valorant? This is where the lockdown was triggered. I've never played uh, Valorant, and that's what you mean by Valo. Say Halo's. Uh, I would personally uh, recommend it. I know its multiplayer is free. Uh, the campaign you have to pay for, though. So if you're into playing. Uh, against other people a lot more than you are reverse. playing through a story Three, then two, uh, one, it's free on Steam. <laughs> yeah a lot of shooter games do uh look the this, same like uh call of duty battlefield facility, i remember our elite friend uh, what were what, some Lock. other ones His they all went like the same aesthetic not good neither is mine You're going to need to manually activate the gravity lift. I've marked it on your map. This location acts as a holding facility. Prisoners are captured, funneled through to Chack Lock, and then onto somewhere they call the House of Reckoning, which is suitably ominous and banished sounding. <laughs> Starting to see why a shotgun might be good. Or just any melee weapon. So I'd recommend giving it a try. Uh, then again, I've been playing Halo since the uh, original on Xbox, so I might have a biased opinion on that. <laughs> Say Phasmo is, is one on my list to uh, get and play. But I feel like Phasmo is another one of those games where you have to have friends to really enjoy it. Remember, we can't get up there without activating the gravity lift. I think we're clear. Let's keep moving. It ain't break time yet. That's... You're with us. Let's move. Let's see. Oh, found a collectible. Hey there, Chief. Oh, I could get used to this. Take that. Ammo. I don't know. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, it's it's a little too close to what I already do in my day job, so uh, I'm not really <laughs> interested in say Phasma would be. I feel like it it really shines when you play with other people, just because other people don't be a chicken. I'm, it's not that I'm scared of it. It's literally my. It's close to my day job in. Uh, uh, so I do security in my day job, and uh, when I see Five Nights at Freddy gameplay, I just look at it and go, "Oh man, I feel like I'm on the clock again." The only difference is now there's animatronics trying to kill me, versus uh, people trying to do unsavory things. Dead Space is a save. Real people, that's where the real horror is, because you don't know what they're gonna say or do. Say, I know, uh, Phasmo, I feel like it be most fun just because you have. A lot of people, or you have friends and stuff that you could like spook and have fun with, whereas 
if you're playing by yourself, it's just you in an empty house, basically. Which, I don't know. Eh. I know uh, some of the horror games I played and really enjoyed was stuff like uh, Dead Space and Fear. Not sure if you've played those or not, but uh, those are designed specifically as single player games. Chief, more Spartan armor and the source of the distress signal. Oh, if you haven't played. You haven't played uh, Dead Space or Fear? A deployable threat sensor. Now th those are some some spooky games. Any targets in range. Uh, Could be useful. Dead Space is real into that. You're alone in space, and no one can hear His you scream, sort of stuff. Spartan named and Hudson Fear is a lot Griffin. more of the uh, sensor logs supernatural, the uh, ghosty goo type. It's a long shot, but he might still be alive. You hate the space? Why do you hate space? What, what's so bad about space? What's, uh, what's so bad about space? I wouldn't say uh, either one of them is necessarily close to real life, especially, you know, being on a giant space station or a spaceship. Oh, how about Alien Isolation? Did you ever play Alien Isolation? Because I know Fear and Dead Space were on the Xbox 360. It's disgusting. It's empty. What? Do you, how is it being empty? Disgusting. No, you didn't. You didn't play Alien Isolation. That's one. That's a great game. If you're all for uh, spooks, having an AI that is smart enough to actually find you when you hide somewhere and just follow you around throughout an entire area or level. Can't, you can't do space movies. So like you just have like just a like a, a fear of space then. Okay. I mean if you got like an intense fear of uh, space then. You know, it's kind of understandable. I mean we don't really know much about. How do you feel about the ocean, though? Like, uh, the deep ocean. Like, Mariana's Trench level stuff. See, I would actually prefer space over the Mariana Trench personally, because uh, space you at least have like the light of other stars and stuff to light it up. Uh, you don't have that down there. <laughs> uh, Mariana's Trench and all, it's, it's pitch black, like it's, in my opinion, spookier than space. That's why games like uh, Soma, I feel like, are really interesting. Uh, fun just because of the uh, setting because sure you, you could set the game in space and a lot of people set their horror games in sci-fi space but uh what about just you know deep underwater that that's a uh, 
That's a spooky Sorry, one for me. <laughs> He's still alive. We need to get him out of there. Where's Chaplock? Unknown. I mean, you can go missing in the woods. You can go missing in the ocean. You can go missing in cities. So going missing isn't a uh, unique to space. Welcome to my tower, Master Chief. It is where you will be broken. It is where you will give up your secrets. See you soon. I, I wouldn't say you're more secure underwater. Much better. The wall's retracted. Watch your back. He could come from anywhere. Like, think of it this way. What is the game? There, there's a game. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Griffin's threat sensor can help you locate Chaklock. Oh, that did not do what I thought. Was. Space movies make you anxious? What would you say is the space movie that made you the most anxious? I will see your courage crumble! Ah! This is not going well. Checklock's cloaked. Hard to see. Use the threat sensor. Let's try the shotgun. I'll throw you off this tower! Shields don't recharge, that's good to know. We need to get him out of that machine. Space movies are eight. Oh. Wait, if I find the name of the movie, let me know. Shut this uh, thing down. Ocean on. movie or space movie? Okay. Be ready. I'm going to cut him loose. It's you. You're alive. Space movie. Chief. The banished. I tried to stop them. I tried to. Easy. You're safe now. The banished. Ace movie. They, they have something they call the conservatory. That's all I know. It's picked up north of here. Dig site. I couldn't stop them. But you can. You, you have to. What's the premise Consider of the space movie? That's good. Good. The others, the Spartans. Did you? I'll find them. Echo 216, all channels. Can you hear me? I repeat, can you hear me? Chief? Big guy, your motion tracker isn't moving. Ah, come on. Give me anything! Chief, I... Respond! Please! Did you find the source of the signal? Whatever's down there either has to come with us or be left behind. Can you hear me? A dig site on the ring? This conservatory must be some sort of forerunner installation. What do you suppose they're after? It's time to go. Well, I guess Spartan Griffin's dead. The name sounds familiar. Gravity. I'm guessing that whatever the conservatory is, the banished won't want us anywhere near it. 
then they'll be disappointed. Yes, they will. Epic. I don't think I've heard of gravity. Ah, so you, so you saw the movie when you were a little too young to see it, or something like that, then? Because I don't, I don't remember uh, a movie called Gravity. Well, did you have fun watching it at least? It says there's a skull and collectibles here. one of them. You're well over 18 now and just still too young to watch it. You're not 80, don't worry. Uh, I mean, what was it? It was like the gaming grandma or something like that. She played like, she streamed Skyrim exclusively or something like that. It's like, being old doesn't mean you can't have fun. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it'd take a bit longer to get used to controls and all that, but I mean, have fun how you want to have fun. Like, the whole reason she stopped streaming, if I remember correctly, was, uh... Her health was getting worse and her viewers were, uh, concerned for her. <laughs> yeah. locked now. I guess I'll have to come back at a later time then. What question? Um... it yeah I forgot it too <laughs> um, I they yeah, I, I completely forgot what the question was I don't even remember if I asked a question. <laughs> Yeah. 
I don't think I can get that uh, collectible for now, at least. So let's instead get that guy. Oh, have you ever played the game Soma? It's, uh... I think it's on consoles. Oh, you live in Germany. Nope, you never played Soma? Ah. That's, that's another... good horror game. Story based. It kind of mixes. Uh, range, Chief. You just play Genshin and Law. You said uh, Deluke was He's one of your one of uh, go tos. Go you had uh, Deluke and Ball on your team. Uh, so are you a mostly free to play player or. Oh. The Dragon Ball. Or the Wii Dragon Ball Naruto. Do you have uh, any Prima saved up for uh, Zhang Li or Don Yu, or are you just gonna skip them? Because I know uh, they're both minutes that uh, people say are must have. Up reinforcements come. You have Ito 2 and Tau. You have, a, you have a crew. lot of five stars. So, what do you think about uh, Fu Tao's uh, You Want Zhang Li? So, what do you think about uh, Fu Tao's uh, gameplay style of You Want to Have uh, Low HP? Oh, you're never gonna level Hu Tao. I'm not a fan of that. You play on life support. <laughs> the smaller they are, the less they have to fall. I think that's how the saying goes. Anyway, that's the last of Briglard. And if his bio is any indication, that's a good thing. Oh, you wailed for child and got a uh, Hu Tao? <laughs> uh, I don't really know what to say to that. Uh, both are uh, great characters. Uh, I know personally, you lost your 50 50 and got C2 to Luke. Uh, for that, you have my condolences. Which, to Luke's not a bad character by any means. Uh, it's just compared to Hu Tao and uh, Child, I think he is, at least between the three of them, I think the Luke is probably the weakest in terms of uh, big damage output. Uh, Hu Tao, uh, if you don't have like a good shield character, is, I feel, pretty much unplayable. <laughs> Which, I mean, if you get uh, Zhang Li, you, you, you'll have the best shield character in the game. Oh, you don't have a single shield character that's built? I'm trying to think of what all shield characters there are. I know there's uh, Noel, there's Diona, uh, Zhang Li. With me. Which I think who else uh, does shields consistently? Since that day, we have been constantly moving, trying to stay one step ahead of her. Any plan oh, you wanted uh, Zhao to, but to you slept on his banner. This one? Yeah. Uh. Goodbye. I think Zhao is the highest damaging uh, animal character. As I say these words out loud, as I formulate the plan. 
I have one question. Can John A little lazy to be building them. Can yeah, I, I can get that. Can we all rely on him to do what is needed? To kill his friend? Pumpkin. Oh, that's already taken Coming care of. Coming up on reach, Dr. Halsey. And blue team. Ready. You coming to say goodbye? No. Tell Master Chief to report to me when he has completed his mission. Yeah, I know uh, Diona, she can shield and heal, which is something uh, Zhang Li can only do once he reaches uh, C6. But a C6 Zhang Li, uh, because, you know, if you play Hu Tao, you don't really want to heal, which, personally, even if you do heal a Hu Tao, she still pumps out crazy damage numbers. You fatherless brothers. <laughs> and their water child and god anti team. Say, so isn't... Uh, what, is, what am I... Because Deluxe... Good. Kaya. Uh, Kaya. Uh, Kaya. Uh, a lot of people are looking at Kaya differently, last I heard. As in, like, they're realizing he's actually pretty good. Diluc is uh, Monstat's Batman, so just on that alone, pretty cool. Think for a long time though, Kaya wasn't uh, even really considered much of a character pick. It seems like though, uh, I'm trying to remember what artifact it said, said it was that came out that people started to uh, view him. Uh, differently. See, characters like, uh, Kaya... Uh, Le Lisa... Uh, Amor... They're all... They don't do over 10k. You mean, like, on their bursts, they don't do 10k? Or do you mean, like, per hit? you're searching for something called the conservatory let me guess you're heading there too affirmative oh yeah, as i say 10k a regular me. hit like <laughs> that's uh Unknown. you'd have to be playing like a hu tao or something just, to get those numbers like a one hp hu tao okay i mean it <laughs> Um, what are your artifact sets like? Because I know artifacts vanished. play like a huge uh, difference and role in determining damage and just character stats in general. Well, 
What, uh... Constellation is your ball at? Oh. You have the right sets, but they don't have the right, uh, sub-stats. Or main stats. Oh, C zero ball? Okay. Captured. Looks like we're right on the edge of the island. A chunk of what That's used what you to be a single to TV. continuous structure. Right, no problem. Can you imagine the force it would take to blow this ring apart? Must have been quite a show. Get that first. If you think I'm flying out there, you're sorely mistaken. Fine. Let me know what you need. I could get assault rifles. Run up that. Can climb up this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not sure if I was supposed to be able to do this, but I can. I'm gonna find the scarab gun or something up here. Okay, so I gotta go up, up for okay. Okay. I think I had the right idea. Oh, 
Crimson Witch of Flames. Okay. So yeah, that'll definitely give him big burst damage uh, from all the... Uh, pyro damage increase. Oh, oh. No bless of bleed. Okay. All has sub fate. Now maybe it's just me, but uh, wouldn't uh, Jean uh, Jing there? Bad. I'm. Butcher names right now. He has his shit artifacts, okay. <laughs> oh, thank god, there's no fall damage. Gotta get up top, though. Like, tip top. Well, isn't he more of a support character anyway, so uh, massive damage isn't really something you would expect from him? I'm supposed to get like a flying vehicle at some point to uh, get this because I don't think uh, grappling my way up yeah I need a flying vehicle <laughs> I have no clue where to find a flying vehicle, <laughs> but uh, wherever I find it, uh, whoa, spinning guns. get up there, so I'll just ignore that for now. Oh, Oyo has a app. I didn't even know about that. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that does make things simpler, but say, I didn't even know they had an app set up about any of that. Pretty good. I have to look into it. What's the story for, for Halo? Um, humanity has advanced technologically 
uh, to the point where it's sort of spreading out across the galaxy. They then come into contact with a collective of aliens known as the Covenant. The Covenant begins to kill humanity and pushes them to the brink of extinction. Uh, humanity, because of the... Well, the super soldier program known as the Spartans was started actually for human insurrectionist groups. But the Covenant just kind of happened to show up at that time. And because of that, the Spartans, the super soldiers that I'm basically uh, playing as and all that, or, uh, get turned on the aliens. There's been a total of four generations of Spartans, basically different experiments done and held to see uh, the different results. For instance, one... Spartan ones were basically uh, regular soldiers given slight enhancements. Spartan twos were uh, kidnapped as a child and then uh, trained as well as being augmented in every which way possible to become stronger. They're, like, they stand like seven, eight feet tall and stuff like that. Spartan 3s were similar to 2s, but they weren't done to the ex same extreme. Uh, where did I get that knowledge? Uh, there's a YouTuber named, like, Hollow or Hidden something. And he covers, like, all of the uh, stories and stuff. As well as just uh, playing through games. Because this is a series that's been going on since, like, the uh, OG Xbox. The as far as uh, for building the story, as well as there's uh, the redoubt of sundering. books inside, I'm picking up multiple UNSC signatures and side games, and there's like an arcade game as well. Look there, the Marines. This must be where they processed prisoners before sending them to the tower. We've got to get them out of here. It's a. Uh, it's got an expansive universe to it. And it's a bit hard to sort of cover all the little ins and outs of it. Like you have. Uh, Say the Lord for game is it uh, it makes it or breaks it at times. Either the game uh, becomes more interesting or the game becomes less interesting. The human scourge is all but extinguished from this ring, brothers. But those who remain are persistent. Search every cave, every derelict ship, but do not kill them. They will tell us where the others are hiding before the end. Zaglok and his machines will see to it. Soon not a whisper of humanity will remain on this ring. So yeah, having to uh if a game's like reliant on their story and then you have to go out your way to find and read it yourself, it can kind of ruin the experience. Audio logs are so nice because, uh, for instance, like right now, I'm still shooting guys and all that, but I can be playing an audio log in the background. There's enemy sniper. Or 
Where does the audio logs come from? Uh, you have to find them just randomly laying throughout the world. Say, uh, Halo Infinite has two different, uh, there's the multiplayer, which is free to download, and then there's the, uh, story or the campaign, which is what I'm playing, and you have to pay, uh, $60 for it. Which, typically, I don't think it's a bad deal, considering you have to pay 60 bucks for both story and multiplayer, so I didn't really mind, uh, spending 60 considering they gave half the game away for free. Well, uh, USD, I'm not sure, uh, what it would convert to. Get ready. More reinforcements inbound. Games are, uh, they're up there in price. I'll take a mauler. So yeah, it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, I feel like uh, games that have replayability, they're worth it, but there are certain games that once you beat it, uh, you just can't really go back to it, like uh, mystery games, for instance. It's like, uh, you could love a good mystery or mystery game, but as soon as you beat it, you can't go back and get the same joy from it. friend i think that console's rigged to his cage oh so uh well, the campaign no there's, there's no microtransactions or anything else. the only microtransactions in uh the multiplayer is like cosmetic stuff you all right marine so it's not yeah. like you really have a need it's basically just comes Chief. down to do you want to spend more money or not dead. thank you Which some people the of Sundering is uh, out of banished are control. going to. We're two for two on gate crashing prisons. The Marines probably want to burn this place to the ground, but at least there'll be no more prisoners processed here. I'll get a tape. Do not misunderstand my concern, Kaidan. None would question your vigilance in safeguarding the processing outpost. Nevertheless, it is insufficient. We must never forget what happened during the war. 
Not a single demon rose from the ashes of their worlds and brought the whole of the Covenant to its knees. We believed him to be dead before, but were proven wrong to our utter shame. We cannot afford to make that mistake again. Say, yeah, uh, gaming is getting expensive because you have a lot of games taking on the uh, loot box aspect that became popular with gotcha games and uh, Fortnite, and then they're just kind of throwing it into uh, any and everything they can these days. Say, Halo, it's fun. Uh, I know you can buy either, I think it's called the Master Chief Collection, where you can get like all the old Halos for like, what, 40 bucks or something like that? The old ones, are they worth it? I'd say so. Uh, especially if you're interested in the story and stuff. Because I know uh, Halos 1 and 2 have gotten uh, graphical remasters. You want to play Naruto Ninja Storm? I actually haven't played a Naruto game in years. I think the last one I played was on the GameCube. Something going on over there. You never had a GameCube? What was the uh, no response on first comms. console you, you played? Or... Oh, you just had a Nintendo. Okay. You mean like the OG Nintendo? See, that's a collectible right there. Reinforcements inbound. And PSP from a friend. Oh, PSP and Wii from a friend. All banished forces eliminated. The squad made it. Thanks to you. Oops. <laughs> it was a pretty old one. Okay. So does that mean you never played anything like Pokemon then? Uh, okay. Yeah, some, uh, a lot of, I feel like a lot of families were like that, and some still are, where they don't, uh, they didn't really like, uh, gaming, because it's like, oh, well, why not just, uh, go hang out with friends or something, being a lot of, uh, I feel like, uh, Like, they, they didn't really see the point of it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Which, I don't really blame them for or anything. I mean, every generation, it's like, uh, 
people who started off in the generation of gaming, they hear about VR and some of them are against it, but a lot are uh, like excited for it. <laughs> Say it's just like a generational difference because I know uh, when books first became a big thing, if you have seen some uh, newspaper articles about uh, adults back then complaining about how all the kids do is read books versus like going out and talking to people and stuff and ironically growing up there's a lot of hey you need to read books you need to go out and play with friends and now everyone's just like I, you know I'll let my five year old play Fortnite <laughs> Just the like the norm that people expect people to do. Like it keeps changing. today. Great work. Rip says the books for a long time, middle and high school. The school system is different in Germany. And would read almost the whole school library. I mean, doing that, you probably came across a lot of interesting stories, though. Hey. Yeah, I feel like uh, a lot of parents were like that, be it with reading books or uh, watching shows or playing games. It's like you're supposed to be asleep right now, what are you doing up? Let's see. I think. For the last 30 minutes of the stream, I I'm actually going to uh, switch over to Genshin, just because we were talking about Genshin earlier, and I got sort of the itch to start playing it. Timbuk2, or Tyne Timblert. Oh, the Vampire Diaries series. See, I never read that. But... So, I'm just going to switch screens here real quick. Uh, so this is typically my streaming schedule. I stream on Mondays and Tuesdays around 12 p.m. Or, uh, I'm not sure what time that would be for you as far as starting. But, uh, 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And then I would start streaming on Saturdays around 9.30 p.m. because uh, that is the one day where I have uh, the ability to stream that I also work. Let's see if I can get my Genshin open and then I will switch over
Let's see if I can... Once I get done with this screen, let's see if I can switch over and... Everything will be fine, hopefully. Switch back to the main screen. And there we go. Yeah, I because you're talking about your uh Ball's damage. Uh, what weapons do you have her using? Because I know for artifacts, I have. I'm running four piece severed and then an electro cup. As far as her full stats, this is kind of what I've got going on right now. I want to increase her crit rate, but. Uh, Getting a good crit rate piece that also has good crit damage and Skyward Spine. Oh, uh, that might be part of the reason why uh, you said she has trouble breaking uh, 10k for her burst. Because I was lucky enough to get her uh, unique. Because you really want to pump up her energy recharge, I feel like. Uh, a good substitute would be the catch from the fishing event. Let's see if I can uh, show you what I mean. Because I'm currently doing this one. I'm trying to get more pieces for Shunhei. So, I'll put in so I can get a pyro character. Okay. I basically have, uh, at least the team comp I had going there of Zhongli, Shunhei, Yula, Raiden. I basically had, uh, Two, or I had one DPS, two sub DPS, and then a uh, shield character of Zhongli. My Zhongli's honestly not built that well, I'd say. Because I feel like I don't do a good job of building. But, say, pairing him up with like a Hu Tao to where you don't really have to worry about getting hit just makes uh, playing her a whole lot easier. And then the lower her health gets, the damage she does. Has to be careful about the ice, though. Say, Yula is probably, in my opinion, the best, if not one of the best, uh, fire pops. Just because uh, she focuses a lot on physical damage, which means she doesn't get hard blocked by anything. She's a, a safe choice to have on your team. Oh, that's actually a really good cup. Or at least it's good for what I'm going for. Say, there's a... The thing with Genshin is I feel like every character is viable. You just have to figure out how to make them viable. Oh. 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 Oh.
escuchar. Because, yeah, I mean, Yula's doing almost uh, 10k hit on just her basic uh, combo stuff. You'll never level Hu Tao? Hey, I mean, every person has that one character they just don't want to You'll never level Hu Tao until you get child, okay. You, you just, uh, you feel like you got wronged by that banner? Or did you're guaranteed become Hu Tao and you're trying to save up for child? Sorry, building up, uh, I think it's called, like, pity by the community? Attack. Animo with crit rate. Attack with crit rate HP. Okay. So yeah, I've, I've kept my adventurer rank at uh, 45 simply because, I don't know, uh, I hear that going up to uh, 50, oh, you wailed on child that lost 50 50s and next banner was oh. I mean, you didn't really uh, lose out by getting a hotel though. Oh, you lost two times. Yeah, that, could, that, that would leave a bad taste in your mouth. Toma. Uh, see, I have Toma. I just never leveled him. Home was another shield character, if I remember correctly. Say, if you, if you want a character, even if they're a four star and you don't pull them on banner, yeah, you, that could be considered a loss. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that's probably gonna upset a few people in the Genshin community, but of all the uh, how do how do I do it by uh, star level? You lost your first 50-50 for Edo, but you got Edo after that. See, I actually didn't uh, pull for Edo. I figured uh, for Geo characters, uh, I was kind of set once I got Zhongli. <laughs> Venti. So, of uh, the, the five stars I have, of Mona, Jean, Chi Chi, uh, Kaching, Kokomi, Venti, and uh, Child. I wasn't trying to get them. Uh, I was pulling for other characters and either lost the 50 50s or by sheer luck of playing and just building up the things, I got them. The ones that I uh, paid money for to get are Zhongli, Hu Tao, Yula, Ball, and Shunhei. Trying to get uh, Shunhei, I actually pulled to, I think it's C2, 
uh, C1 or C2 Mona, I'm not sure. <sighs> C1 Mona. But yeah, it's when I'm not trying to get a character, I'm super lucky. But uh, when I'm trying to get a character, I just can't pull them. For instance, uh, Zhang Li. Uh, I want to get him to C2, because then when I play with other people, I can still drop his uh, barrier and use him, and everyone will have the barrier. So, say I decide to start playing this online with other people and they don't have Zhongli, I can pull in my Zhongli and basically be the shield guy. Sure, my damage won't be too great, but I'll keep everyone alive, sort of stuff, you know? I'll, I'll let them worry about the damage, I'll just make sure they stay alive. <laughs> Gone or um, Yao, who are both considered like, super uh, must have units. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I just didn't really pull for them. See, now Ayaka is one that I regret not pulling for because she's supposed to be really good. Say, people who uh, C6 their uh, Ayakas are crazy uh, with how much money they must have spent on doing that. Or C6ing and then, uh, like, getting her weapon and stuff. Actually, what artifact am I trying to get right now? You got clean Hu Tao by luck. See, those are both uh, good options from what I hear. Or. <laughs> so you were pulling, trying to get the four star on their banners that got them instead? Or you lost your 50 50 and got them? Say, they're not bad characters. They're both do decent pyro damage. Or I shouldn't say decent. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hu Tao is still the top when it comes to pyro damage. And Klee's up there as well. Mm. Let's see. They are good. You think. <laughs> You don't know because they're benched. Yeah. You just put your Klee to be a menace. What do you mean uh, to be a menace? What are you doing to people with your Klee? See, another thing that's uh, a problem I have is even if I get a decent artifact or two, uh, the levels don't go into the substats I want or need. Oh, you burn their lawn. Oh, look at that. As soon as I start complaining about it, the crit rate goes up.
same relationship as lol yeah see this it, it's all going into defense and that is uh in my opinion useless i don't need defense to be built up That's defense. That one's mastery. Uh, yeah, I can get rid of all those and not feel bad about it. I'll hold off on that one just in case of what it's final thing will be crit damage energy recharge I'll hold on to that oh you're scared of using um to enhance I can understand that I was the same way and then I was talking to a friend and they're just like, just use it. There's like, if, even if you hold on to it to use it for the uh, one thing to like turn them into other uh, artifacts, you're still basically rolling RNG and therefore you can still get crap. So you might as well use them to build up something that you know is good or you hope will become better than to uh, keep rolling the dice. Okay, yeah. okay, when you play like that, suddenly I was like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe I will use them for the hands. I gotta go get more of those uh, crystal things to make more condensed resin. Same. I have uh, very few characters that actually have uh, artifact sets. Most of my characters do not, and the reason for that being uh, I, I don't use them. <laughs> That's just the uh, the long and short of it. I just don't use the character, so I don't. Uh... And since I'm going to be collecting crystals, so something I didn't know is uh, this makes catching those crystal flies a lot easier and I didn't know that until someone pointed it out to me so now instead of approaching them and they all fly away I actually have a chance to catch them yeah you don't even have to be playing it so you can just have her uh, on your team because see Yeah, instead of them instantly flying away, they're just kind of chilling. Say, four stars can be uh, 
absolutely great. Uh, like... Uh... Shunhei and... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh... Chong Yun? Like, that's, like, a great combo for cryo teams. Or you can pair uh, up uh, Yui Jin with... Sure, what constellation is it? Like, if you get, if you manage to get a C6 Yui Jin, you can literally pair her up with any team comp, and you can get, increase their attack speed by 12%. Which, uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This uh, skill, you don't really need to uh, build it up, or you don't need to build your party around it, so to speak. Uh, what's another f four star? I mean, there's Beto. Uh, she allows you to counter people. Uh, what's an? Well, then there's of course Bennett who everyone in the community uh, gushes over. And I'll be honest, I have not built my Bennett at all. <laughs> uh, he's still level one. And I've got him up to C5. Uh, I'm trying to remember whether or not you actually want to C6 him. I don't remember, but... Yeah, there, there are four-star characters that are absolutely fantastic, and uh, did, I just don't really build or use them. Like, Ning Guang is uh, a four-star I'm actually building, because that uh, Geo uh, Overwolf boss uh, is an absolute pain, and you have to have a Geo-damaging character to uh, do decent against him, I guess I should say. I'm worse than you, what do you mean? On the whole benching characters thing? Oh yeah, no, I, I don't level them. Uh, if I don't plan on using them, I don't level them at all. You don't even level them to two? No, I don't even level them to two. Uh, oh, I did not mean to talk to you, Sage. Event started. Event details. Okay, so I have to complete the latest Archon quest to do that. That's all the Dandelion seeds. Off to Dawn Winery to try and get more animal crystal flies. Do I have mods? Uh, do you mean? like in game No, I'm not playing with mods. Oh. In chat. Uh, I have it set to auto moderator and uh it's not telling me I need to check anything. Uh, 
刀や槍は相手を選ばず赤ひもの力にも限度があるだから我は人混みの多いところを好まないじゃがのクルーだね。<笑>花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた We all, we all make those mistakes. <laughs>、uh, we think、uh, something's guaranteed, and then it turns out not to be, and, and then we just feel stupid about it afterwards. But you don't use her, so it's okay. <laughs> This side of the wall, right? Yeah, it's over here. Usually, the ones on the roof will、uh, run away. I can't get them in time, so.、Let's、see how this goes. Yeah, I already saw them taken off into the distance. Yeah, same.、Uh, or I'm not sure, same. <laughs> well, you just find characters you like to use and you use them, you know. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, like,、uh, Shunhei is like a、uh, complete support, and I'm trying to build her for damage. Which I guess she could do. 
連機過信Oh, that is the wrong character I switched it to. Uh, have who at C1? Uh, shouldn't he? Because I know my Yule is uh, C0. Oh, never mind. My Yula is C1. Uh, my Shunhei is uh, C2. So I have uh, a little longer on her skill, and I have a uh, second use of her base skill. Or a little bit longer on her burst. But uh, apparently to build her for damage, you need to get her to like C4 or something. And when I heard that, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, I think it's C4 that you need to get to to properly build her for damage. And when I heard that, I was like, I'm going to I'm going to stop pulling. Cuz uh outside of that, she's mostly a uh, sub DPS and support <gasps> character. It was probably the smartest thing I've done <laughs> in a long time when it comes to Genshin was to just uh, say, you know what, I'm fine with her being a support because she still increases uh, my main DPS Eula's damage in both uh, cryo and physical aspects. Yeah, you don't even uh, need to use her. It's just uh, an active bonus for your whole team. So you can use uh, taller and faster characters to grab them. That's where I forgot to go. I forgot to go over here. Got to get these guys. But yeah, the moment you grab one nearby the other ones will start to uh, fly away so that's still an issue it's just uh just being by them <laughs> hey. well you don't have to work so hard anymore <laughs> say now you can just walk up next to them and use uh whoever you want to pick them up as long as you have uh sayu sitting in the back row Think, yeah, this is the one. Enter. Oh. Uh, I, I do plan on doing my dailies. It's just I want to uh, do this first because. Uh, I'm impatient <laughs> with my resin. Uh, plus, by doing it like this, uh, I have content to do while waiting for my resin to uh, recharge. Nanko, <laughs> 
念の共闘Still trying to get my uh, balls uh, crit rate to over 50% because both for crit rate and crit damage aren't as high as I'd like them to be. Say, uh, the resin system, it is absolutely terrible in my opinion. I mean, it has great substats. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to it in case a character that likes to build HP likes the set. Not quite what I'm looking for, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take him, I guess. fan of the limits on Reza, I feel like it, it limits how much you can play the game. Clearing these in about a minute, which is pretty good time, I think. Now that's a good, that's a good feather. And that's not too good. Oh, they reset it if you have too much. I did not know about that. I didn't know that if you uh, went over the 160, it got reset. So yeah, that, that sucks. Hey! 
What happens when I use all my uh, uh, fragile is I just use it all? There goes his hat. Let's revive from town. Oof. That sounds rough. I'm not sure what I would do if that happened to me. Defense and attack. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to that one, I guess. Uh, let me set up. I'll take out Pu Tao and put Raiden back in. That's what I'm gonna check. Nope, not that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 39 minutes left of uh, these banners, it looks like. Okay. The map. Daily. So they ran out of time. I think it was you have to hit it with Pyro, I think, right? I got no clue how to set off those swords anymore. I used to know. I did like once or twice. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Take the boat. I tried to uh, use them in, I think, groups of four or five, because each one is 60, right? Or is it 80? I don't remember. But I try to stick around uh, 200, just so that way I can turn it all into uh, condensed resin. <laughs> Okay. 
の盤石天理チョークヒュッはい結晶せよはっ粉々よよっそれそれ結晶せよやっ I mean, I don't, I don't consider it like a smart yep. thing, it's just what I thought was most convenient. But, yeah, I guess. It's a, hunting crystal flies has always been a pain, in my opinion. Uh, I was so happy when I found out about the uh, little trick with the Tanuki. With Sayu. Just, uh... It made it so much easier. Not to mention the, uh, uh, what, what, I think it's, uh, this island here has a lot of electro crystal flies on it, but I don't remember for sure, but I feel like it's, uh, there's a lot down there. I just personally don't do it just because they're not all clumped up together like the other spots. Oh, you didn't find any? I'm trying to remember what island it was. I remember Inazuma added a good bit of them. I don't know which area has my favorite commissions. I don't remember where, but I remember there being an island that just had them floating around and me just running around collecting them. I do. The, the, the novel one in particular I'm not a fan of. Uh, considering it's just clicking through dialogue and stuff.
Oh, do they have connections to the world class? I did not. Oh. Chances are, yeah. Huh, I didn't know that uh, either one of those was collect was uh, connected to a world quest. Interesting. speedrun world quests don't have anything to do. See, I'm bad in the sense of I collect character quests. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've collected a few world quests as well. I guess I'll start uh, Ito's quest. <laughs> Dragon Spine Quest. I did Dragon Spine. What are you talking about? That was one of the few areas I actually completed. Like a hundred percent. Yeah. Arataki itto ni tsuite kai. Kare no shita koto wa mimi ni haitte ryo. Mou nigeta rashii kedo ne. Sono jouhou kiita toki wa skoshi igai datta. Ah, ya. Sore hodo igai demo nai kamo. Sore wa itto ga izen kara hyouban no warui. Ya. Nante yuka.彼は何をやるにしても声が大きくて結果での性格はよく言えばとても明るい悪く言えば情緒不安定気分が新たき一途に対して僕は別に悪い印象を持ってはいないでそれがはっきりとわからなくてね助けが必要な人がいれば助
彼は元気な人と一緒にいるのが好きなようだ他の人からも話を聞いてみた方がいいと思うよ I mean, he's, he's around, so, you know, お、あっよく分かってないけど、人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の人生の Uh, cryo's good.、Uh, pyro's good. Just a flat increased attack by 25%. And then there's Geo. <laughs> increases shield strength by 15%. Additionally, characters protected by a shield will have the following special characteristics damage dealt increased by 15%. Damaging enemies. Dealing damage to enemies will decrease their Geo resistance by 20%. For 15 seconds. So if you have, like,、uh, pair up Zhongli with Ito, for instance, pop Zhongli's barrier, I guess, and switch into Ito, well, now not only is his barrier 15% stronger, but he does 15% more damage, and dealing damage will decrease the enemy's geo resistance by 20%. So you hit them a few times and then you pop his burst, you're gonna be doing a lot more damage. Say, and then uh, there's uh, just any of four, just a flat 15% resistance to all damage. I mean, wind's nice, or animal's nice in a sense of、uh, 10% uh, movement speed and. Decrease to stamina consumption by 15% as well as shorter cooldowns. So it's nice for traversing and climbing and all that. But yeah, it's just little things like that. Let's see. So typically I、uh, only stream for two hours. Uh, this stream is looking like I've been going for two and a half hours now. So I think I'll be calling it here for today.、Uh, I just want to thank you for joining me. And the next stream, or next time I will be streaming, will be on Saturday、uh, around 9 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.、Uh, typically on Saturdays, I play、uh, more relaxing games such as、um, Minecraft, for instance. I know that's what I've been doing on Saturdays lately. So,、uh, if you are able to, I would、uh, deeply appreciate it if you stopped by. All right. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful day.